Hey y'all, just wanted to show you real quickly how you can combine a bunch of files into a single PDF file uh, on your Mac OS computer. So um, the way you do this, I'm going to combine these three files. I have uh, one of these is a screenshot, a picture that I want to include in this uh, collection of files. Another is a program I was working on and then the third is an actual PDF file. So uh, you need to start this process with a PDF file and uh, just show so I can show you how that works. Maybe I'll open up this program that I was working on. When you open something up on the um, Mac, usually you can print, almost always you can print, and if you're printing, almost always you can print as a PDF. There's a PDF down there and it may look slightly different on yours, but the, down in the corner there, if you save that as a PDF, what it'll do is it'll make, it a, co make a copy of that file uh, but a PDF version. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and save that. And you'll see then over here on the screen, I now have a PDF file. And you can do that with just about anything that you want here. Uh, this screenshot, I can save that as a PDF as well. Let me go ahead and do that just real quickly there. Again, it opens up in preview there. If it doesn't open up in preview, maybe it opens up in some other graphics program. If you hold down the control key while you're opening that, or if you right click on it, you can open it with whatever you want. And you can, if you, again, if you select preview there, save that as a PDF. And the way you do that is you can print. It says export as PDF, that'll probably work. But again, I'm focusing on this print, PDF, save as PDF. And same kind of thing, we're gonna save that onto the desktop. So now I've got these two versions of those programs here. Here's that screenshot PDF, and here's that coin for flipping PDF, and here's the original PDF that I had. And I want to, what I want to do now is combine all these into a single PDF. The way you do that is, again, just open up, uh, if you double click one of these and or right click to open up with Preview. We're using the Preview app. Max Preview app is really good at allowing you to manage these things. And so what you can do up in, in the um, corner up here is you can choose to hide a sidebar. Sometimes it'll just open up like this. But if you click that little icon there and open up the thumbnails, it'll show you all the different little pages here. You can click through all the different pages. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to drag um, these PDFs that we were working with, that we were looking at. Here's this screenshot. I'm going to drag it in here and make it, uh, maybe I'll make it the first page in my document. So now I've got that as the first page in my new PDF document. And maybe down in the middle down here, I'm going um, to add that code. I'll put that down here. So now I've got a full document that has all those PDFs integrated together. There's that code I just put in there. All of those are put together. And if I just save that then, I've got a new version of my program. I'll save that, or I should say of my PDF files there. Um, I've combined them all into that one PDF document. This was 2-1. It overwrote what was there before. And now every time I open that up, you'll see it's going to have all those files in there, all those pages in there, the ones that I uh, inserted using the Mac OS preview software. Hope that helps.